Hello guys, welcome to another video. Now we are talking about my DM GP1 mini bike. I've bought it many many years ago, maybe eight years ago. It was stuck with a 40cc cylinder and it was running already very good. The, you have uh, Shiner mini bikes that are capable of like two horsepower, one and a half horsepower. But I wanted of course more. So I bought this one. I think first I bought a 50cc cylinder and it was running already very good, but of course I wanted more. So I had to think what I have to do. I decided to buy a 70cc Polini Evolution 1 cylinder and I fitted it with a self-made spacer. You can maybe see it here, it's very tiny. So you don't have to weld anything, aluminium welding. Yeah, I make a, a new intake for metal and it's a 28 millimeter Dell Auto exhaust. Ah, sorry, not exhaust, calibrator. Yeah, uh, of course I changed the sprockets. Uh, that one are the stock, this golden one. And you can see already what a huge difference. Because it had so much power. I have to make a very small one and uh, today it's a part because I changing the front sprocket and I had like uh, seven T's on it and I remembered when I drive my fastest speed I had like 10 or maybe 11. I can't find it so I will need to buy a new one. Of course the first thing what suffered from the power was the clutch. I bought this one, that's an PF, I don't remember exactly, but uh, it's very long, so you have a very long, grippy surface who fit in here, in the clutch belt, and um, yeah, it was on the dyno, it, uh, it outputs 20.3 horsepower on normal fuel and after that I put the engine apart, I tuned everything so much I could, like the cylinder, I ported it, the engine, uh, yeah, the motor block, I don't know in English, um, and I bought a Hebo Manston Racing 2 exhaust and I welded and fitted it inside. And yeah, I had it not back yet on the dyno, but I think with proper fuel it will make like 24 horsepower on the rear wheel. So as you can imagine, it's already insane. The bike was driving before 140k, I don't know, like 80 miles or whatever. And I was not driven it because it was yeah, too scary for me. Um, yeah, but it's very nice. I wanted to see new horsepower again after this tuning and um, I really want to see what it can do from top speed again. Um, I built a bicycle speedometer, it's here, so you can clearly see how much you drive and uh, I adjusted it properly so it's uh, showing the right speed and here you have um, RPM you can see it how much the engine is revving uh, of course I have a lot of problems with the air cooling and the most problems with the starter it's from plastic so it's broke apart every every second engine start um, I replaced it to metal and this part I make it completely from metal, even inside. And now I can just turn it on normally and I have no problem so far. So really nice mini bike, really powerful. And yeah, that's it. That's all about my mini bike. Mm, I can maybe try to turn it on. Yeah, I will, I will try it for you guys. So that you can hear the sound. Fuel on. Shut 
choke on it. It's not so easy because no, the bike don't stand properly. But anyway, I will try for you. gas cable gets stopped yeah I think so but as you can hear it's insane power so really nice to hear it yeah that's all for today enjoy your Sunday see you next time <laughs>